Yeah, you know, um, every game it's it's a little bit different, but uh, you know we've been going against some good competition, so it, it's been a fun time. Um, good opportunity for us to to go against these guys. Has it been hard? It has. Yeah. Is it a oh my gosh, we just got punched in the mouth and we got to punch him back, or how does that back and forth go? Yeah, I think I think it's a little bit of that, right? You know, you go out there knowing that um, you know it's gonna be a fist fight, and and so. You know, you take some blows, and then and then you got to give those blows back, and and last man standing. So it's kind of that type of deal. Is it hard to give blows back when you're nice? I mean, you're a nice guy. <laughs> um, I think there's there's a switch that that needs to be flipped when you go onto the field, and so you know that's what that's what I try to do is, is flip a switch. It's like and, Iron and, Man, you, you hit yeah. a thing, and this new guy comes out. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> Who does the talking? Does the, does the offensive line spend much time talking to the defensive line during the course of this four-hour game? Um, honestly, not a whole lot. Really? Um, you know, I feel like once you're in game mode and going, uh, we're all just focused on on what the play is, how to execute that play, and and that's most of the conversation. You know, going between the center, so going to tackle. When you're in a pile, though, you're not saying. Hey, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Maybe a little bit, yeah. Who does most of the talking when there's talking on that offensive oh. line? Is um, it you? Is it Connor? Is it... I talk a little bit. Um, and what do you say? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just just letting them know that, hey, I put you on the ground for for a reason and to stay there and <laughs> really, and, that, and, that's, and those are the words you choose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just... And, and and Joe <laughs> Joe talks a little bit too. You know when he's in there and he'll run his mouth and, and it brings a good energy. I it's feel fun, like isn't it? yeah. And, and the D line's talking back to you guys, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's been tough sledding getting this running game going the last yeah. two games. Yeah. What's the key? What's the key for the offensive line to to help that? Yeah, you know, um, we really haven't executed to to the way that we should. Um, and we need to be uh, more physical up front. Um, that's something that we've prided ourselves in, in being in the past, and, and we need to get back to that. And so just executing the plays, running them how they're supposed to be run, and then uh, you know, being the most physical. Pass protection, you guys put a pocket around Jaron, yeah. kept him on his feet through three games. He's thrown the ball really well. What's the mentality of your group forming that pocket? Yeah, for sure. You know, every game we go in, the goal is to to not let them be touched. You know, and so that's kind of the mindset when we go in there is to to keep the pocket, you know, perfect as long as he needs it to be there. And and so that that's that's our goal. When he leaves the pocket and gets touched, do you remind him that uh, <laughs> the safe zone's over here. You're on your own over here. Yeah, you know, he he's <laughs> he's a dual threat. Um, so he'll he'll do some running around and and you know we're, we're happy when he he does his thing and and leaves the pocket and makes some plays there too. So when there's a trick play called, yeah, like the one with Roberts throwing to Jaron for a touchdown, yeah, what does that do to the offensive line? Are you guys kind of a little more jacked up, like hey, we're gonna do this? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, you know, it's it's always fun to be able to to run a trick play and and see it work out the way it did and. And so, you know, when, when we do that, do get that call in the huddle, you know, I think we're all a little more excited than, than usual. Because you got to, it's, it's before the ball even gets back to those guys, you've got to sell yeah. the play that we're going to the left, yeah. even though the play's going to the right. Yeah, for sure. And then once you see everybody start flowing over there, then in your mind you're like, oh, this, this thing might actually work. <laughs> it might actually work out how we planned it to, and then it, and then it did, and so it was fun. So then when the big boys are together back at the, Sideline after something yeah. like that. You guys feeling pretty good about yourselves? Yeah, it was for sure a good <laughs> celebration, a fun time. What does game satisfaction mean for the offensive line? You look at how many sacks were allowed, how many yards were rushed, uh, how many points are on the scoreboard. For your group after a game, what do you look at that says we had a great game? Yeah, um, you know, I think it's all the things you kind of touched on there. You know, the sacks that were allowed. The rushing yards, um, the points up on the board, you know, it all kind of just starts up front, um, and and whatever we do, that's that's kind of how the the team rolls, and so um, I think all of those play a key role in having a good game. So for BYU to be successful tonight, for the offensive line to be successful tonight against Wyoming, what three things have to happen? You know, execution, you know, is key. 
um, being the most physical team on, on the field and most physical, you know, on the line. And then just, you know, playing, playing with love, you know, love for the guys around us and, and love for the guys on the sideline and, and love for the fans. And so if we do those things, then we'll, we'll play well tonight. What did the loss at Oregon teach this group? In, in every win or loss, there's, there's a lot of different things that, that you can learn from. And one thing I think is just, you know, sticking together, um, being the most physical week in and week out, and, and that's what we need to get back to, so. So tonight, an all-new attitude up front? I think so, yeah. BYU lists you at 6'6", 302 pounds. Your younger brother, Campbell, 6'6", 295. Yeah. In a hamburger eating contest, <laughs> which brother wins? Oh, man. Um, I'm just gonna give it to myself. <laughs> yeah. And how many? How many hamburgers? How many? Oh gosh. Um, maybe around, you know, if I'm pushing it, maybe around 10 or 12. 10 or 12 hamburgers. Maybe if I'm pushing it, yeah. If you're pushing it. Yeah. Does that that's like I'm like not gonna. That's like tomato. I'm not gonna eat two meals <laughs> in the future either. <laughs> you know, I'm if I'm eating that for lunch, I'm skipping dinner and I'm skipping breakfast the next day because I'll still be full. <laughs> And Campbell would tap out at how many? He'd oh, tap gosh. out at eight? Yeah. Yeah, you'd, yeah. you'd blow right past him. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, well, that's what big brothers do. <laughs> huh? How do you celebrate a big win? What do you do? Honestly, not a whole lot. Um, you know, go find the family on the sideline. Yeah. Say what's up to them. Um, go grab something to eat afterwards and, and try to go to sleep. You know, go to church the next day, so. <laughs> yeah, always, always got to get to church the next day. Exactly. Well, I hope you celebrate tonight. Good luck to you. Thank you. Appreciate it.